in this video we will see how we can create a dependent pick list using flow so let's start by creating a sample flow here first so I want so basically what I'm trying to do here is like uh, I have uh, this pick list so whenever I will selecting a country uh, a depending state would be populated and when I will select state a uh, dependent uh, city would be populated so first of all exactly uh, this UI is not possible in Salesforce flow so we have to do some work around so uh, let's see how we can have a kind of same functionality here so I'm creating a new flow here and let's say and the sample we have here is like I have a, a sample object name as a trail so I would be using this one only so let's say I'm trying to create a new flow so I will first get a screen component here and I will say uh, first controlling field so first controlling field here and uh, first field is nothing but a country so I will simply add a drop down list here uh, saying country and now uh, previously uh, it was not possible to get a pick list value directly in flow but now this is possible so as this is a first field we don't have to do any special handling here so we can simply go and we can say we have we want to have a pick list choice and let's open okay i already open it i guess so let's uh, we will say uh, choice <coughs> country uh, and then we will say object name is nothing but trail and in that object we will be having a multiple options here so we have a three pick list so I will be saying okay let's get a country pick list and that's it save it so I will say dependent pick list demo Okay, so there is no starting element so let's mark this flow as a starting and then try to save it again so here we can see uh, the both options are coming here so if I go back on my uh, actual uh, object only these are the only two options so uh, we are already set on the first screen now the question here is how we can have a, a dependent pick list I mean there is no direct way here so what I would be using here is like we have new functionality in Salesforce which is name as a custom metadata so if you can see the new icon it says the newly added to the Salesforce I guess to release back or maybe in the previous release so uh, one, one choice you can have is like create a custom setting of type list uh, but instead of creating list type of custom setting the more recommended way is like to create a custom metadata advantage of custom metadata is like whenever we will be deploying our solution to the another Salesforce instance all the content of the custom metadata can also be included in that deployment or even that package so uh, let's see how we can create a uh, one metadata reusable amongst all the objects so we will say uh, dependent pick list so plural name may be dependent pick lists and I'm saying okay visibility should be public let's save it and then let's create a some fields here so first first of all is like I don't want this metadata only to be used by only trail objects so I want to make sure that whatever the functionality I'm implementing it can be used anywhere in a visual flow so let's start creating uh, some few more uh, fields here so let's see how it looks like so I will be clicking on the manage dependency pick list so now we can see that for the object trail for the controlling field country having all USA value these will be the odd dependent value and for India uh, controlling value we will be having only one 
so that's only a uh, first dependency and that is between a uh, country and state now we have to make one more dependency second dependency which is for a uh, state and city uh, so uh, this is how our final data uh, would look like sample data so if we see uh, all this dependent pick list is only for the object trail and this is the api name of the controlling field and the api name of dependent field so we can clearly see that for all the usa uh, these are the state value and for these state values so like for Utah, we have salt lake city and then we have two entry for vermont two for virginia and for maharashtra and as well as for texas so uh hope uh this is very simple to digest here and like i said this is a reusable and we are using custom metadata type so we don't need to create this sample record every time uh, when we deploy uh, on new instance we can simply include it as a part of chain set or maybe as a part of package so uh let's move back here uh, and this is our existing flow only thing i want to change i mean as a my best practice always in unique name i always uh, prefix it with something like this screen one so that i would know that okay this api name or this field comes from screen one or two so uh let's move back and if this first is a country then i will say uh state this is a state screen and just first save it and let's see really how it would work so i would first create and normally that's my style uh, i normally create a temporary variable and after some time after at the end of uh, flow i normally delete this i will tell you why i normally create a temporary variable so our uh, first is a country now second is state so maybe uh, to make it more clear i will just change the label here is like a uh, country so country and state now let's see how i can create a dependent pick list here so i will select again drop down list here and let's say a uh, state and unique name i will give as this is screen 2 element easy to identify now in state i will say uh, create a new dynamic record choice that is okay so we can see that a uh, custom era data type is appearing and one thing to notice is like a uh, custom object ends with underscore underscore c uh, but custom metadata type ends with underscore underscore MDT. That's metadata type. So I will say choice state. Now we have to add some conditions. Uh, so uh, the con conditions are nothing but uh, let's say uh, first of all, if I click on the manage dependency pick list so first of all we know that okay for this flow object name would be always trail underscore underscore c so we will go and we will say object name equals to this now after that we also know already know in advance value of two so controlling api name we already know so controlling field api name because we are creating it for state so no uh, that's for sure the controlling field api name is country name so we are entering country name and then of also we know the dependent api name so let's go back and say dependent field api name is also state now the only last thing we have to add as a condition here is like what is a value of controlling field so i will say controlling field value is equals to so now uh, the controlling field value we have to uh, know in advance that what user has selected either they have selected usa or india and that's very easy we have a screen element already so we will go on previous screen and we will see that which country he has been selected 
he has selected and it says choice level so what a user needs to see so we will say user needs to see all the dependent field value that means we have added three this all these conditions that this should be the object name this should be api name of controlling field api name of dependent field and whatever entered on the previous screen on the matching of these return these records so that is a nothing but dependent field value so we will go back on our flow and we will say okay give me dependent field value and even stored as dependent field sometime it happens is like you want to say something else but at the background you want to save something but in our case that's not scenario so we are saying okay whatever the user is saying let's save it as it is now this is the reason i said i normally create a temporary variable because sometimes i forget that they are gonna ask because if ask for uh, any variable because if i click on save they will give me an error so let's say i want dependent field value to be stored in my temporary variable so for the timing let's click on ok save it so now i know that i have to create first a temporary variable because if i don't have my temporary variable created uh i might have lost everything what i have done because there was no way to go back on the screen thanks to my temporary variable i was saved so i will say variable state so that's where uh, we will be storing the selected state and by default its value should be empty now same way uh, i will create uh, one more value i think variable city for the next screen and we will see save empty string now go back on our previous screen and go back on our drop down options and just correct the variable name which we have used so it's not a temp it's actually state variable and this is always best practice to uh, have your variable name starting with var otherwise it would be a lot of confusion once your flow grows on so let's save it and try to run that at least we are able to get our first dependent picklist or not so in the meantime it's loading let's start with the last screen and i will say uh, state now this is city and after state city option should appear here oh not sure why it's slow anyways uh, we can go ahead and we can create one more dependent so here uh, drop down list list of all city as a best practice unique name i will prefix it with screen name underscore fill name easy to identify then we will say that we want to create a new dynamic choice record again and we will say it's a choice of city and object name is dependent pick list metadata type again i like in the same same way uh, what we have to do here is like okay so let's test our flow first so it's loaded now so for if i select country usa and if i click on the next screen it would give me all the USA state if I go back here and if I select other country and and that's it's so simple so all these happening is like just from the custom metadata type entry the only problem I see here is like uh, we are not able to see controlling and the dependent field on the same screen and I guess uh, that's totally fine because at least we are safe from creating a visual force page so uh, I, I say we can leave it with uh, if we just want a declarative solution here so let's go back and let's make entries for this one so object name is always again we already know what would be the object name here so I'm saying object name should be equal to trail and then we need to have a controlling 
field API name. Now this time controlling field is nothing but state, not country. So we would be copying state here. And now we know dependent field API name as well. Because now we want we are getting a list of city. So we are getting it here and now we need to have a controlling field value and now the controlling field value would be coming from the previous screen so i will just try to search that's the second screen so value would come from here so we have all the conditions here now what do we want to display is like dependent field value we want to save it as a dependent field itself and in this section i will say whatever selected get a dependent field value to variable we have created is like so we are almost done with our demo let's try to uh, run our flow again so for country usa for state texas these are all the city and let's say for india we have a maharashtra only state available and for this we have a two city like nagpur and pune so friends i hope you understood uh, this demo and i think it would be helpful for you and uh, just to let you know how powerful feature is like this is we don't have any limit of how many controlling field dependencies we can have maybe we can have a depth of four or five ten by using this just a simple custom metadata type thanks very much for watching this if you like it or if you have any feedback please post at a comment section see you again soon